What's going on guys? I'm Zach from the Lumios Post where we talk about all things Pokemon and today we're going to take a little trip down memory lane. Remember back in Generation 7 it was coming out. It's the Alola region. We're excited. It's tropical. There's these cool new Pokemon like Tapu Koko and Vikavolt. The starters are pretty cool and then they reveal that there will be older Pokemon getting forms that's wild regional variants became a thing we had alolan executor alolan raichu alolan nine so many fan favorites just from this game but then it became a staple you know we got galarian forms we had hisuian forms we've already gotten paldeum whooper revealed to us so it's gonna be in paldea too and yet it wasn't a thing before gen 7 right Wrong. Actually, it was a thing from the very beginning, and that's what we're talking about today. To look at why regional variants have always been a thing, to prove this point, we need to look at the most obvious case that we have, and that is with regional variants in the fourth generation, Gastrodon and Wormadam. Gastrodon literally differs in appearance by region. Gastrodon in the West Sea is one color, Gastrodon in the East Sea is another color, and we see that carry over to other regions too. So that is literally a variation based off of the location of Gastrodon, which is a regional variant. And now you may say, well, wait a minute, all these regional variants, they change types, and you know, it's not just an appearance thing. Okay, well then we have Wormadam. If you take Burmy to a different environment it will change cloaks and then it will evolve into a worm madam with that cloak you can get a trash cloak worm madam if you evolve it in the city you can get a sandy cloak in the desert or caves and you can get a grassy cloak if done in a forest or grasslands so these are all different types you have bug grass bug steel and bug rock so there you go it's a regional variant but that's Gym 4, that's not the beginning of Pokemon, so let's work back a little. If you look, there are also Dex entries that kind of just show that Pokemon differ by area. Like, it's heavily implied that Copperaja came from another region and may even look different in that region because it may not have been Steel-type. You have things like how... Corfish, we know, is from another region. That was stated in the Gen 3 games, and it talks about how it came from another region and became invasive and adapted to the Hoenn environment. And that's even why Crawdont seems to have the elements of blue and the star on the top of its head. It's because it's mimicking one of the greatest predators in the Hoenn region, Sharpedo. So again, a regional variant in Gen 3. You have size variations. Pokemon vary by size. We see this both in the games and the anime. You know, you have totem Pokemon are larger and you have alpha Pokemon are larger. And you even have stuff in the anime where things like that, that Bulbasaur from Orange Islands was kind of cast into the sewers where it became a giant Bulbasaur. And speaking of the anime, we have other examples of regional variants in the anime as well you see that there are pink pokemon on an island in the orange islands you see that there is a crystal onyx which seems to be a different type because it seems to be able to tank water moves even though it normally is four times weak to them so again implying that it is a new type it has undergone what we know of regional variants the same kind of variation between raichu and alolan raichu this onyx seems to have undergone from regular onyx yeah apparently i mean just realizing it i guess that for some reason orange islands is the spot for regional variants but anyways we have other examples of this in the anime as well you see there's a pink butterfree in the original series before orange islands in the kanto saga and there's other examples of pokemon that have different colorations that aren't their shiny versions you know you have the kecleon in johto and you have while not a color variation the notched ear pichu or spiky eared pichu whatever you want to call it from Sinnoh. all kinds of different examples of this but 
the most interesting one to me is that if you really, really think about it, there are actually Pokemon that vary but look exactly the same. So take, let's say, uh, Charmander, for example. In Pokemon Red and Blue, Charmander has a very specific moveset. But in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, Charmander's moveset is a little bit different. The moves it can learn, all this is very different. Why is this? Well, it's because Charmander and Sinnoh just learn things differently than the Charmander and Kanto. They literally are variations. They're the same species, but they change based off of their environment. They may get moves earlier or may get different moves, whatever have you. It's a very easy way to explain why Pokemon's move pools differ based off of the generation you're playing. It's, it's just all regional variation. In a similar way to how in the real world, animals may be the same species but hunt differently or eat different things or have different main diets, if you will, depending on the environment they're in, even though they're the same exact species. Even just what side of the environment they are. Lions may hunt different animals primarily based off of the part of the same savanna they're in. It, it, that's all variation in a way and it's no different with these pokemon's move pools but but i do have one final kicker for you and that is that arbok is literally the og regional variant arbok actually has different markings based off of what region you find it in now this is something that they've dropped i don't know why because it was really cool but they have seemed to drop this and hopefully it'll be picked up on a later date but Arbok does indeed vary based off of if it's found in Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, or Sinnoh. So there you have it. From the very beginning, Arbok was our first Gym 1 regional variant. Long before Raichu, Executor, Vulpix, and the others. Be sure to let me know in the comments below anything I miss. What are some other regional variants we've seen without actually having them be called regional variants? Let me know down below. Also, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. We talk about all things Pokemon here. That includes this fun regional variant stuff and, and covering all kinds of fun little theories and just a lore in the Pokemon universe. So you don't want to miss that. So again, like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Until next time, I'll see all of you later.